Crews are working to contain the mosquito fire. More than 71,000 acres have burned. It's currently 21% contained. Cal Fire says 78 structures have been destroyed and 13 have been damaged. More than 11,000 people have had to leave their homes since the fire started. Many of them have been evacuated for more than a week now. We have team coverage tonight for this fire. KCRE 3 meteorologist Dirk Verdorn is tracking the conditions and the smoke. But first, KCRE 3's Michelle Bandu is live in Placer County. Michelle, we know you've been covering this fire for us throughout the week. What are crews doing to stop the spread now? Well, I want to tell you, Brittany, we just received the latest information about the fire and that small plume of smoke that we showed you at five o'clock was actually a small flare up pushed by the winds today. And so the good news here is that that fire was able to stay within the perimeter where they were already fighting. So there were no breakthroughs, no jumps of the line, and they all want to keep it that way because the priority here is to protect the community of Forest Hill. Saturday's strategy in stopping the mosquito fire is securing control lines to prepare for windy conditions. To make sure we don't have any hot spots like those behind me that are flaring up that could uh, pose a, a danger by throwing embers or casting embers across the fire line. Firefighters work throughout the canyons and ridges. They use heavy machinery and walk the land with hand tools, hoes, and shovels. They also spray water to dampen the forest to keep the fire from spreading. Crews also eliminate dry brush and branches, ripe fuel for the mosquito fire to burn. The strategy also includes continuing to set backfires. They've been working on that for several days, backfiring up large chunks so that fire can't come around and hook and go up those drainages. So they've been very, very successful in doing that. They will continue to work on that as well. While fire crews are battling the mosquito fire over in the canyons, there are signs of progress. We found utility crews working up and down Forest Hill Road in the town of Michigan Bluff. Workers put up new power poles and installed power lines to the small community. Some residents will return to destroyed homes and property. Many other homes were spared by the fire. But the windy weather could blow in challenges for firefighters who are ready for anything in this 11 day firefight. It's very erratic up here. Uh, that has to do with a lot of the drainages that go in various directions, which are funneling the winds. And firefighters told me it's 59 degrees in that perimeter area where they are fighting the fire. So as you know, those cooler temperatures will really help them as they try to maintain control of the ground fire that's happening there. Reporting live in Forest Hill, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, Michelle, good news over there. Thank you so much. We do want to bring in KCRA 3 meteorologist Dirk for Doran. Dirk, we know we have rain on the way. Is that going to help with the firefight? Yeah, the rain will, but the winds that the weather system is bringing initially is what we're dealing with now again as this weather system approaches it gets closer and closer those winds start to increase and that's what we noticed today we had those winds that were picking up and again more from the south where yesterday we had that flow making its way more towards the tahoe basin today we're seeing it moving up more north in through uh, sierra counties and into plumas counties where we're seeing some of the thicker smoke and if you're driving along i-80 you're going to run into a pretty good plume of smoke but right here you can see where the mosquito fire is and it stretches across a good portion of Pl uh, placer county from south to north all that smoke being pushed off to the north and to the east that's going to intensify some as this next weather system approaches. So you can see the smoke plume and the forecast has this um, shifting more to the north as we get those southerly winds pushing that smoke from south to the north. Expect that to continue through tonight, through tomorrow and on into tomorrow night. But again, the good news is, is that we do have even cooler temperatures and the rain that should really help out the fire situation as we go through the next three days. We'll have more on that coming up now. Back over to you.